guys and welcome back to another video tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a quick tip on how to create a disk similar to this one with a central aperture or hole in it. Uh, this uh, shape is often required in such things as a, an LP record that you would want to model or a movie reel. Um, you know, those type of things. So, how do we go about this? At first, uh, it may seem simple, but when you actually get to do it, you'll notice that it becomes a little bit tricky. Um, you may try to make a cylinder and, uh, uh, you know, delete all the uh, uh, vertices down here. And, sorry. and be left with a disc here which you can't do anything with and what's worse is you have triangles which are usually a big no-no we'd rather have uh, quads okay so what do we do about this um, what about a plane we could add a plane subdivide it give it subdivision surface um, you know but again uh, we cannot make a hole because the intersections at the center. Um, the other thing is that when you are working with a plane to try and convert it now into a circle is a nightmare. It's going to take you many steps. Alright, um, so what about a circle? Nope, that's not going to work either. You can uh, All you can really do with that is fill it and then you, you, you've got nothing to work with there either. Um, although one could uh, do a, a boolean modifier using a cylinder to cut a hole in there. But uh, I'm going to show you a quick tip uh, and how to do this in a few steps. Right. The answer is to add a UV sphere and simply select with your circular selector those there select the inverse of that delete faces and now you're left with this shape alright now you'll notice that the uh, center of this disk if we go into our uh, vertex uh, positions here the Z position is at 1. So to do that we can just uh, deselect that vertex use the box selector make sure all of your vertices are selected and uh, enter the position of the Z axis as 1. Deselect all that and then box select the next row making sure all are selected and enter 1 again and there we have a flat disk All right. now simply scale your vertices down to the required size um, and then then just delete faces and there we go now the good thing about this um, as well is that one can um, loop cut simply with control R increase your number of cuts as required and as I said we now have quads to work with not triangles um, this is much better because if we want to now do a boolean modifier cutting holes elsewhere into this um, shape um, we can do that right guys I hope that was useful please subscribe